Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, this channel is all about vermiculture and worm farming. Mostly I do mine in my basement. I do a lot of experiments on what can you feed your worms and basically everything that you could possibly want to know, I try and test it out here. So today we're going to look in on my au naturel bin and this just gets things I can find in my yard. So I think last time they probably got a handful of apples uh, that had fallen off my tree. You can see they've had acorns and sticks and leaves and they seem to be doing just fine. Let's, let's take a look in on them and see what we have got. So I'm just going to turn things over here, putting all the food that I find and pile that up in one spot. It does seem a little dry, uh, so we will definitely be giving them some moisture. In case you're wondering, I absolutely just threw that over the edge. Uh, I started out with 20 of the large European night crawlers for this experiment, uh, thinking that they would be the best worms for the job to take care of leaf litter. And so far they're doing a great job. This has been running for a good long time, and the worms absolutely do not appear to be any worse to wear for just having natural food. So these worms don't get any junk food at all. No people food, nothing. So, and they're staying a nice, oops, and kind of sassy. Check him out. Just going to turn this over, and you can tell they are still breeding. So we have little worms and big worms, and we've already seen cocoons. So we're do they are doing really good in here. But today, I think it's been, it's been over a month since we've looked in on this bin. So first things first, let's get a little bit more moisture in this bin. Still have not bought another sprayer. I don't know, I seem to be doing okay without the sprayer. <laughs> it's just one more expense that I don't have to have for the, the worm channel. All right, so that's, that's helping. I think I probably added, you know, a couple coffee cups of water to this. Today, we're going to kind of do, not really a forbidden food, but an unusual food that I have not tried previously, uh, at least not lately. And what I have here are, um, obviously anybody who grows mint knows that um, it's a little invasive in your yard. And once it gets rolling, if you don't harvest it, it starts to take over. And my mint has started to take over. So I think I've fed mint before, so it's not really a problem. I also have some burdock leaves that I've let dry out, kind of as a carbon source here. And uh, the worms, they should definitely be able to eat this with no problem. I figured if I let this dry out some that it would be more of a carbon and kind of balance the, you know, highly fresh, just picked today, mint. Smells wonderful, by the way. So this is just basically an experiment to see, you know, if you don't have any scraps around the house, can you just go pick something out of your yard and feed it to the worms? And thus far, we've been doing this for quite a few months. I'll put below when, when we started this, but uh, it's been working fine. So you can absolutely not, you, you don't need kitchen scraps to feed your worms to keep them healthy. And I'm just proving that long term with this bin to show you that, you know, if you just have stuff to pick out of your yard or your neighbor's yard, that the little wormies will be just fine and they will continue breeding and being super healthy without it. At least that is my experiment. Um, so we're just going to keep this bin going. I think it's, it's useful to see what you can do over time if you just have stuff in your yard. If you like the experiment, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And, you know, if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.